hello my beautiful people how are you doing today i hope everyone is doing all right we are still on the 29th day in the month of april 2020 this is news across nigeria but this particular story is not from nigeria but i believe the nigerian leaders not only nigerian leaders but the african leaders are beginning to receive sense let me put it that way have you ever asked yourself one question why is the asian countries especially the chinese treating africans the way they are treating us the secret is simple now this story is from the uh, is from tanzania where the tanzanian president reject 10 billion dollar loan from china the reason will shock you but before i continue this gist don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell notification so you get instant updates whenever i have gist like this to share with you guys all right so um let me quickly give you the gist the tanzanian president john magu magufuli has decided to cancel the loan worth 10 billion dollars offered by china okay saying that only a drunkard will accept the terms of agreement in that loan one thing we don't understand as the masses we may not be at the top we may not be in government but there are things we should understand within ourselves african leaders not only african leaders even the chinese government sorry the nigerian government also borrow money from china we all hear about the loan but we never thought about asking the terms and condition of that loan so now the reason why this guy treats us the way they are treating us is um, some kind of should i say a plot to recolonize africa well i really don't know but let me continue the gist the loan in question was signed by magufili's predecessor okay to construct a port in bagamoyo okay in tanzania then according to some local reports okay jakaya had signed the loan that is the the former president has signed the loan agreement with Chinese investors to build the port on condition that they would get 30 years to guarantee on the loan and 99 years uninterrupted lease. Now, why do you think a country will decide to borrow or lend money to another country? Uh, do you think they love them so much? No, they don't. It's because of the terms and condition they are re uh, releasing the money is what they are interested in especially the chinese so the uh, tanzanian president labeled the agreement as killer chinese loan why did he label it as a killer chinese loan many africans organizations and citizens had demanded the former president to reject the offer they had wanted the president to their consequences because of the deal but they are concern were ignored and the deal was signed though after coming to power magufili had initiated to renegotiation um, initiated a renegotiation process by pressing the investors to bring down the lease period to 33 years from 99 years so the loan was rejected by the government after the investors that is china did not meet the deadline given by Magufili's government. So China on overall locations has been accused of luring poor African countries by providing debt for important infrastructure projects and then controlling them after they failed to repay the debt in a given time. Now let me, let me uh, repeat that for you. Okay. China on several occasions has been accused of luring poor African countries by providing debt 
for important infrastructure projects and controlling them after they fail to repay the debt in a given time. So I believe the African leaders, um, they are beginning to wake up. Yesterday or uh, during a plenary, the House of Rep ordered uh, for a probe of illegal Chinese uh, citizens living in Nigeria. Another issue what I understand is the way we worship these people as small gods make them see us as animal. I really don't know about other African countries, but what I am always seeing in Nigeria, one Lebanese or a Chinese man will, you know, will be moving around with tens of uh, security personnel in Nigeria. And I believe even the security personnel, they worship these guys. Can you find such treatment in China? How the Chinese police will provide security for Nigerian investors or for Nigeria, a rich Nigerian man in their country? Well, I really don't know, but if you have any idea if it's happening, you can help us on the comment section below. So all what is happening, it's a, a very big conspiracy, all right? And I believe African leaders, we are beginning to uncover some truth behind uh, why Chinese is treating Africans the way they are in their country. So African leaders is waking up. They are waking up. We are seeing that on social media. They are talking about it. So I believe this is what we should know. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. All right, so a Tanzanian government uh, president have rejected the 10 billion of a loan offered by China, saying that it is a Chinese dead loan, okay? Because they want to lure Africans, lure the poor African countries to accept their loan and the terms of agreement. Nobody will give you loan even in the bank. If you walk up to the bank to get a loan, the bank will also ask you for a collateral. If you walk up to your friend, colleagues, or where, or lenders, local lenders, they will ask for a property. And the property, you need to write an agreement if you fail to pay the loan and the interest within some speculated time, your pro property will be sold out. So the same thing also applies to all the countries borrowing African money, especially the China. You agree to the terms and condition of the loan. We, the masses, only realize that the government is borrowing from China. Have we ever asked the terms and agreement of the loan, which we, the masses, will be the one to pay? Our children will be the one to pay for the terms and uh, condition of the loan if not our generation will be the ones paying for the terms and agreement of the loan all right so i quickly wanted to share the story of a tanzanian president with you guys that african leaders is waking up and coronavirus is making some people to open their eyes see you guys in another video don't forget to subscribe like i said after this pandemic, a lot of people will lose their job. Many people will have to lose their job. So my advice for those of us staying at home, this is the good time to learn more skills, especially some freelance skill. If you're interested in starting a YouTube channel just like I am, posting videos on YouTube, making money for posting videos on YouTube without showing your face, there is a course I have and also organizing for you guys. All right. So if you are interested, link me up on the email address on the description. Then I will reply you on terms on how to get that training. See you guys in another video.